So I actually just ended my episode 7 recording, but this guy spawned. I named him Jebediah, and he has the Stonebreaker pickaxe. Look at that. Efficiency 5, Mending, Fortune 4, Unbreaking 5, Boon of the Earth 4. We need some freaking emeralds. We only have 21. We need this pickaxe. That's going to be so nice to have. So I'm going to go over to the village, and I'm going to see what these guys want in exchange for some emeralds. Where are you guys? Oh, here's Here you are. Farmer, you want some wheat? All right, say less. I'm pretty sure I have plenty of wheat still. 400. Okay, he doesn't want to trade for that anymore. You're unemployed? Get a job, man. I just went down this hole and I found seven villagers. <laughs> they were just all chilling here, so I brought them all up top. I'm gonna grab these two as well. And hopefully all of these guys will go find jobs. You want leather. What else can I roll for here? Just leather. Six emeralds. I'm going to go ahead and check that village that we found earlier. What do you want? You want zombie flesh? Paper for emeralds. Okay, you stay right there. Where are you, sir? Come here. Give me emeralds. 44. So close. Come on. Come here. 45. We got 45 emeralds. Quick, go home. Jebediah, where are you? You're still here. Okay, you want a diamond pickaxe and 45 emeralds. Diamond pickaxe. Got the diamonds in there, grab the sticks, boom. Got this. Come here, boy. Give me this. Yes! Oh, we have this amazing freaking pickaxe. Oh, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We don't have a soul on that grave, but when we do, we are disenchanting this bad boy. Ooh, we got a mysterious gift. What do we do with this? Oh, I can't open it till December 25th. Well, let me just toss that in there. Well, since we got this awesome pickaxe, I'm thinking it might be time to go find some Aldamodium, actually. And the reason I say that is because if you get Aldamodium, you can make a portal to the mining dimension. Ah, here we go. It's the teleport pad. So if you get all the modium, you can get all the modium nuggets, and then you can make a teleport pad to go to the mining dimension. And since we just finished setting this system up to deal with transferring ore and such, and also I realized, oh my God, it's so bright. I realized at the time that I forgot to put gold ore in here. Was it raw gold? Ah, okay. Yeah, so raw gold, I forgot to put that in there, uh, which is very important, so. But uh, yeah, I'm over here trying to decide if I really want to go for all the modium um, right now. I mean, it might not be a bad idea, honestly. I mean, we've been kind of chilling lately with what we have. And as much as we want to upgrade our backpack and mine the ancient debris, honestly though, if we want to get all the modium, we need to have a netherite pickaxe anyway. So with this netherite ingot, what we might want to do is look into a brewing stand. Do we have one anywhere? We do not, okay. So we wanna look into a brewing stand here. And the reason for wanting a brewing stand from a netherite ingot, you can make something called netherite sight potions. And when you make these netherite sight potions, you can make them into a charm of netherite sight. And with the charm of netherite sight, you can turn it on and then turn it off. So then you're not wasting the netherite sight. You just get like five seconds of netherite sight. But what I might actually do is just make the potions themselves. I usually don't do that. What I typically do is I'll just turn the netherite sight on and off as I'm using it. But maybe it would be a good idea to just have five straight minutes of it and just to go absolutely crazy. I need a 
Mundane potion. And how do you get that? Is it just a sugar? Oh, sugar, spider eye. Oh, yeah, that gives you a mundane potion. Okay, so let's get some sugar so we can make some mundane potions here. Drop these in. Where's the... Drop it in here with that. And we need blaze powder. Grab some blaze powder here. Drop that in. And now what do we need for calcinized? We just need to cook the netherite powder. To get netherite powder, we need to make a mortar, a pestle, and ender powder. So let's make a pestle. Let's make a mortar. And now we need ender. So then we drop these in here with an ender pearl. Get some of those. And we need to drop this in here. That Oh, no, actually, we don't need a full bar. We just need netherite scrap. But we don't have any netherite scrap. Huh, okay. Is there any way to deconstruct this? I don't think so, right? No, there's not. Okay. Um, so it looks like we need to go to the nether and get some ancient debris. Isn't that something? Well, we're back in the nether. Uh, where is our mine? Here we are. So let's go down. Oh my goodness, I really need to clear this area out. I don't even know what this resonating nether ore is for. I've seen it so many times in these in the mod pack, but I've never used it. Run away, little pig. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to... Uh, forgot Darkstone. Damn. I do need to go get that dark stone because mining down here is going to be a pain in the butt if I don't have it. Let me deposit all of this junk in here. What was that? It's a shiny arm. A zombie. It's a zombie arm. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Whoa, all these bows. I need to match NBT. Yeah, so all those bows don't stay in there. So NBT data, essentially what makes that item unique. So what makes this bow unique would be all of the all of the enchantments and other data that's on that item. Uh, you can also choose durability. That's a separate stat than its data. So now hopefully that would mean that only our bow stays in here. So you do this, boom, and it gets rid of everything. Because it's break tier or break category, whatever it's called, is much higher than anything in the nether besides the ancient debris so you can essentially break everything if you put this in the path really needed an auto feeding module huh that is one upgrade that i am looking forward to oh hello we broke through another path that we have does dark stone mean lava i actually don't know but you always find it near lava don't you not dark stone uh black stone Oh, the little underground railway. Okay. Oh, that's what we keep forgetting is our dank. We didn't bring our dank with us. That's a mistake and a half. Oh, damn it. And these things are mad annoying. Really want charms from those. There's something that you can make called a charm belt. And if you get enough charms, you can make mobs ignore you. So they're not actually attacking you all the freaking time. But keep in mind, if you use that to your advantage to attack them without them hitting you back, the charm loses durability for every mob you kill. So it's a little balancing thing there. So you can't just cheese it all the time. Go away. And lava spreading as fast as water in the nether is always so scary. Oh man, there's so many now. Oh my goodness. Oh, I like that backpack mob. I wonder what song that is, honestly. It's a really nice Minecraft track, actually. vibe into that say goodbye to the good music guys I'm honestly surprised we haven't found any ancient debris yet good lord we must just be getting very unlucky huh 
Captain Wally. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I thought that little guy just popped out of him or something. <laughs> it was weird looking. Oh. No, thank you. You're telling me I haven't found a single ancient debris yet. Are you serious? It's honestly quite insane that I haven't found any ancient debris yet. Like, actually, nuts. Oh, I got a charm finally. Another fish charm. I've been quite the unlucky one with the amount of mining that I've done to find some. Or we were just very lucky in the ones that we did find. Well, we haven't found any and our pickaxe is broken again, so we need to go refill our repair kit. Just gonna go down here real quick and mine what I can of this. We Bing bong, bing bong. Ah, yes, this is what I was gonna make. I was gonna make some waystones because I can make them now. Except I don't have emeralds. Now I'm missing friggin' emeralds. Oh, this guy despawned. Damn it. Oh well. I got what I needed from any him anyway. Oh yeah, as you can see, there's not any mob spawning around here. I spent some time to build big torches around the area. So these things here, these keep mobs from spawning. I have them set up for every two chunks. And it looks like that's working. I don't know their, their exact range, but I set them two chunks apart each. Um, and it seems like it's working for hostile mobs. So yeah, that's nice at least. Back to the mines. <laughs> Sorry, homies, you got caught in the crossfire. It is Y15, right? Yeah, it's Y15. I guess I'm just really unlucky right now. <laughs> no way it's this close. Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> well, okay, us finding this took so long. I've already had to go back. Empty my inventory, fill my tool repair kit up, repair my pickaxe. I've done quite a bit of mining already just to get this one piece of ancient debris. The game really wanted us to work for it. But now we can finally make some netherite sites. Okay, actually we need to go over here to do this. So, oh look, it's already sending stuff through though. But we are going to interrupt this chain. We're just going to go uh, boop. And we'll put that in there. This will get enriched, and then we gotta take it out of here. So what the best thing that we could probably do is to set up an exporter here, or an importer here, and have it whitelisted to take that out. And then probably, as well, let ancient debris through here, and then just pipe the ancient debris up into here. I might do that, but right now I'm not gonna worry about that. Look at all this crap following us, man. Yeah, I kept forgetting to bring my dank with me to uh, store all of that stuff, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. All right, let's do this. Then we can take the netherite scrap and we can make this here and drop that in there. Oh, nope, sorry. We got to cook it first. Uh, do we have another smelter? Oh, yeah, we have this bad boy. Get in there, boy. And that actually takes a long time to cook, huh? Take that. Now, we can drop this into here and make some netherite sight potions. XP, always nice. Oh, what else do we got? Ah, ore sight potions and a hopper botany pot. Nice. I think that was because we did the pestle and mortar. Here we go, netherite sight, baby. First potion as well. So, we can make this into a charm, or we can drink these by themselves. I'm unsure what I want to do right now. Actually, I've never just drank the potion, so screw it. Let's do that. But first, let's grab our, not our drank, our dank. Can we upgrade this? That is a lot of gold. We can, though. Okay, let's just do that. Let's upgrade the dank. Sort this. All right. Let us. Oh, we got four hopper botany pots. Oh, man. How's these? How are these doing? Oh, look at that. 180, 180. Oh, actually, we need more drawers for this uh, fertilized essence. Yeah, we're going to need bigger drawers. That's okay. I'll uh, fix that later. For now, though, just go in there. Oh, it's all in my inventory. Is that all of our gold? Yeah, just about. Good lord. Jesus. Well, that's okay. And before we go, let's make a damn feeding module. I'm so tired of this. Glistening melon, golden carrot, upgrade base, feeding upgrade, and now let's make an advanced feeding upgrade. 
Now this will feed us. Oh, let's take the stack tier one out. We already have a stack upgrade tier two, so I'm not too worried about that. Actually, we might want to upgrade this to a tier three. How much diamonds do we have? Diamonds, diamonds, not enough. I don't want to use the diamonds then. We only have 70 diamonds, so let's not do that. Okay, back to the nether. And let's configure our feeding upgrade to feed as soon as the player is a bit hungry and then feed player immediately when hurt. So it will always con it will always try to keep us fed. Now the higher saturation food you have the better because sometimes it will run behind especially if you're spamming FTB ultimine, but it's better than nothing, you know. Okay, let's do this. Uh grab this. Look at all that beautiful netherite or all that ancient debris. Now we're just going to go shapeless and we're just going to go ham. Sight potions are really great. You can make them from, I think, just about every single ore that's in the game that's a default ore. It's really nice. Oh, shoot. Let's go up here. Senpai Mariah the Funky. Nice. Each ancient debris is three fourths of an ingot, so that's nice. But what's really great about upgrading gear um, is as long as we find a smithing template, we will be fine. But the first thing we have to do is find one. We have not we have not even began looking for bastions even, so we do have to we have to look for those at some point so we can get the smithing templates to even upgrade to um, netherite. Man, we're already out of our pickaxe. Oh gosh, no. Gotta teleport home. I don't like doing that either. Oh no. No, no, no. Get back. I'm freaking out, man. Fill this bad boy back up. Man, you would think 3,000 durability would be a lot, but it is not as much. Another right site. We still have some. Let's go back down there and use it. I don't know. I feel like maybe having the charm might be better because we can just turn it on and off and then we just go towards it. So at this rate, we're going to have to make some more uh, netherite sight potions. That's okay. We can still use two, and then I'll just make a charm later. I mean, this will still be netherite, so... Ah, yeah, screw it. Might as well just pop this. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, man, my pickaxe. All right, after it breaks this last time, then we'll uh, chill out. Oh, goodness. Stop that. Oh, goodness. Well, our pickaxe broke. That's unfortunate. Can we even go home yet? Nope, three minutes. Well, we don't have a pickaxe. We have this one, but I don't really want to use that. Repair kit's empty. We don't have... Well, we got 50 ancient debris from two potions, so that's not too bad. Okay. XP. Nice. So what I'm doing here is I'm checking my knowledge of death menu. Right here you can spend points that will help you improve certain stats. The scribe stat that I just leveled up allows the disenchantment book to pull a certain amount of enchantments off of an item when you use it. So it's very useful to check that menu. You can find it in the controls tab or you can click in the chat whenever the message pops up when you level up your knowledge of death. Do I just, do I just do it? I guess so, right? It has, I mean, it has mending. <laughs> Not this diamond pickaxe being way better than mine. How much? Uh, oh, so it can hold 4,096 in one netherrack. Ouch. Oh, it's these damn things. They've been following me. Let's explore for a little bit, I guess. It's a blaze spawner here. A blaze rod. Five seconds. <gasps> Two. One. Okay, sweet. Deposit all of that. Let's grab the debris. The debris. Leave two in there just in case. Just in case we need it, need that for something. And we will drop this into the crusher. Just let this bad boy cook up. Yeah, we probably want to upgrade this machine later once we start doing more and more mining. Although this bad boy's filling up. This one's taking in stuff too. Look at our beautiful transfer three at a time system working. Oh, it's so nice, isn't it? It's so good. What quest we get? XP again. 
We got some ancient debris. <laughs> Dude, we tore through this pickaxe like five or six times in the nether, bro. Good lord. We really used the crap out of it. You know, I realized we still have not finished the house. <laughs> Look at it. It's just a footprint, man. We really need to build that up a little bit, huh? But machines, bro. Machines. All right, I might just grab all of these and take all of this too. And I'll just let the machine get back to work. There we go. All right. Well, machine's back to work. Probably just make another enrichment chamber. Oh, actually, we, we still have ours over here. We'll just feed you into there, huh? Yep, go in there. Do your dance. All righty. Netherite scrap. Well, we have plenty of netherite scrap now, so that's good. Our problem is going to be gold. Oh, no, we have we have quite a bit. What we need to do is calculate how much enriched gold we actually need um, for this. So in the metallurgic infuser, it's four netherite scrap and 40 millibuckets of gold. How much enriched? This gives 80 millibuckets, so it's one ingot equals two. Okay, so one enriched gold ingot equals two netherite ingots which means four of these so we need to do maths so it's eight for one so that's eight ingots and we really need to upgrade this enrichment chamber so let's do that sure hope we don't lose the stuff that's in there we did not okay now we'll have it output over there out of sort okay so we need four five more one two three four five one two three four five put that in there and drop all those in there and those will smelt up into netherite ingots. Do your dance, baby, do your dance. So what I did there was I crushed gold into gold dust and then I threw it in the enriching factory because if you put one gold ingot in here, it only equals 10 millibuckets. But if you enrich the gold, it turns into eight millibuckets. So essentially one gold ingot turns into eight gold ingots worth of millibuckets of gold in the infusing factory. So instead of using the base recipe, which is right here for four netherite scrap and four gold ingots, essentially what you're doing is you're cutting this down to only use half of a gold ingot per netherite ingot. So it's much cheaper that way. All right, let's just take the rest of that out. And we got 43 netherite ingots. Look at that, beautiful for barely any gold. So that is awesome to see. What can we do with this without the smithing templates? We can make a unassembled netherite drill bit. I don't think I'm going to do that though. Obsidian to netherite furnace. We can make a safe. Ooh, a loot fabricator. That might be nice at some point, but I'm not going to use that right now. Well, we can make netherite seeds, but I don't, I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can use... What if we take this? Can we do this? No. We need that silent gear to do recipe. We need this here, the coding smithing template to get to netherite. Okay, so we're gonna need a smithing template. So I think maybe that's what we do next. We already mined some ancient debris, but we wanna be able to upgrade our backpack. Let's go ahead and redo this whole list, shall we? So one, get smithing template. We need to get the smithing template, so then we can upgrade to netherite gear, then get all the modium so then we can go mining dimension we want to get to the mining dimension so we can use the boon of the earth that is on this pickaxe but we also want to strip that enchantment off of this pickaxe and put it on our other one what is this there's a gift there oh is that for christmas maybe it's for christmas there's still no soul here i wonder if we can can we make another grave let's search corral do we have any other essence we do not okay we don't have any other like undead essence, but we do have some XP. Knowledge flows inside of me. Can we enchant this bad boy? Well, we can, but not right now. I wonder if we can use this hammer here for all the modium. I really do wonder. <laughs> Dude, this hammer is so big. <laughs> it's so massive on my screen. We have the nature compass. We could look for the deep dark. We have one that is a little ways away. Okay, well, let's put our nether right away. Let's see. Let's see what we can find over in this presumed deep dark biome. Shall we? Uh, it's like near where we started, huh? 
Okay, so it's over here and it's right under us. So it's right down here. Well, let's see. Well, we're in the deep dark, apparently. Let's dig to bedrock, okay. So, right here, let's go shapeless. Look at all that iron, man. Let's see, how much do we have on us right now? None. 13 from that. Six box gave us 12, not bad. Osmium. Let's grab all that. Jesus Christ. Well, we're in the grasslands now, somehow. Is it one of those, like, really small deep darks? Because that would suck. Oh, I can mine arcane debris, so it's a netherite level uh, axe. Or pickaxe. Which means we can get all the modium with this. Oh, there's some skulks. I thought that was all the modium. Oh my goodness. wonder if we can find a big-ass cave. You gotta find one of those huge ancient cities. Doesn't look like we're going to over here though. This might be a really small deep dark biome. Or it's big and we just haven't found the opening yet. That's also very possible. More redstone. A ton of iron, which I should not have mined that with this hammer. Is that more gold? It is gold. What is this? A sp spawner? It is a spawner. What's in here? Just some loot. Plus protection. Blue pants. Yep, just some stuff and things are in there. And this one. Oh, wilden horns. Those are good. Grass ingots. Okay. Phoenix fire. We're not in the deep dark anymore. Well, I think this uh, deep dark area is a bust, unfortunately. Yeah, no, I think uh, I think it might be we might be borked here. Damn. Well, that wasn't very fun sounding at all. Actually, very scary sounding, actually. Damn, we have so much redstone. Hell yeah. It's good, because we're going to need a shit, a shit ton of it. Yeah, it looks like we're not, uh, we're not going to get the, some all the money in front. Oh, hold on. Hold on. What's this down here? More skulk. Aw, gold. We've been jabated again. More skulk. This is a spawner. Oh, okay. Got that. Some gems. Alden spikes. I see you spiders. We got some asses. Okay. Backpack. Drag me shard again. Those are going to be really nice. Those will allow us to uh, summon drag me's. If we use them in the proper recipe. So there's more deep dark. More gold. Gold is always good. Ouch. Punk ass. Well, we haven't found a shrieker yet, which is meh, because we kind of want to find one. Oh, I finally opened over a hundred loot, uh, instance loot chests. Look at me go. Oh, these are nice. It's the, the armor is nice. I don't really need the speed or the cooldown reduction, so I might chuck those on just for more, uh, Armor. A big ass cave. Okay, let's go back down. Ew, a silver sp fish spawner of all things. Got a silver fish spawn egg too. Ouch, man. Leave me alone. Well, I think I think uh, we might call this one a bust. Because we, we're in a, a big cave system, but uh, yeah, no deep dark. No deep, uh, no ancient city. Well, let's see what we get from this. We got some more. Some more different ores. Gold ore, tin ore, aluminum. That's from the boon of the earth, baby. Look at all that. Look at all this ore we're getting. That's why boon of the earth is so good. We want to use that later for sure. But to get to that point, we need 
all the modium, but we didn't find any. Ouch, man. Come on. Well, unfortunate. That is okay. We got quite a bit of stuff, so let's just deposit all of that. Does Boon of the Earth or something else we're going to have to worry about with another exporter? Because we don't uh, we don't handle these right now. Oops. Well, at least we got a bunch of ore, so we'll have that at least. Yeah, this should be just going and going. We're going to need to upgrade this machine chain. Hold on, let's check on our melons first. Okay, we are keeping up. That's what matters. Our melons are double what they were last time we checked on it. Which means that we're doing just fine. Yeah, we're doing we're doing great over here. Yep, yeah, this thing's full of ethylene. These things are producing. It's good to go. I need to move this forward one. Um, I believe. Or probably into the back. Yeah, probably move it probably move it to the back of the chain. Because it's making the amount of ethylene going into here split. So that might cause us some issues. So we need to pressurize tube. I think we have more. Yeah, we do. Okay. Let's grab our configurator. Let's move that real quick to the back of the chain. Let's grab that. Let's put that there. And let's move our surplus ethylene back here. Actually, I really should upgrade this bad boy. To hold even more ethylene. Upgrade this. So it can hold even more. Can we upgrade it further? No, we can't. That's fine. Alright, so this can hold 256,000 now. So that's good. And we will have it input and output on the back end. So this will hold extra ethylene for us. Alright, perfect. There we go. So these, these are good to go now. Alright, sweet. We're holding up very nicely here. Let's uh let's upgrade these these three machines here to the basic versions of themselves. Let's do that real quick. So this to upgrade. Boom. This one, boom. This one, boom. Okay, perfect. Okie dokie. Archuki. So now that we've upgraded these, we're gonna have to change their config uh to work properly. Actually, this goes first. So we put this here, we need to make it take input from here and output here. Auto eject, auto sort, then enriching factory here. Take input, output, auto eject, auto sort, pressure, inputs, output, sort, and of course, auto eject on. All right, there we go. Now we're cooking up. Now these are Keeping up really nicely. Now we can put some more speed and energy upgrades into here. We still can't keep up. Even fully upgraded. Still can't keep up. So we're going to need to upgrade these even more. That's crazy, huh? That is wild indeed. Well, I might as well toss this in here and toss this in here. We only have three, so we need more of these. Oh, we're out of the regular one. So let's get some osmium. Enriched. We don't have enriched redstone, so let's. We need eight. That's gonna be. No, we need sixteen to deal with a whole stack. Okay, so enriching chamber. Drop that in there. Drop this in here. Take these. To do this. We need two more of those. Let's do. Mechanism. So we have a lot of those, and we have those, and we have these. Six. Okay, so we can upgrade those machines one more time. So upgrade this, do that, that, and that. Now we have to do the same thing again. Where we have to change the config since we're doing upgrades here. All right. Looks like the oxygen actually can't keep up with this juicy boy. See, now we're running into the these more and more problems here. Yeah. So this. Uh, it's running out of oxygen because this needs a speed upgrade now. Now we're into it again, boys. Just make a few of these. Drop one more in there. How are you doing now? Still not enough? Still not enough. Okay. What about now? You good? 
What if we take a speed upgrade out? You good now? Okay. I see it also bugged out with that being stuck in there. I wonder now if you can take this. Yeah? Was it just bugging out because of this one thing in here? No, it was not. No, it was not. Okay. All right. So this is already using 5,000 FE per tick um, with the five speed upgrades. And this has seven in it. So we're just going to keep, we're going to keep these ones fully upgraded because they don't, they're not using, um, they're not using gas, but we needed to, we needed to calm this one down. <laughs> now we can, hopefully it'll, it'll catch back up. We'll be good to go. Yeah, this is using a constant 5,000. Can we keep up with that? Are we keeping up with that? Looks like just barely we are not. Let me see. You're full. You're cooking up what you need. You're keeping up, no problem, with their usage. You're just pumping. Okay. So what you're telling me is this needs to slow down. Yeah, it's using way too much power. Well, this is keeping up now, even with the speed down. Is it? No, it is not. This is getting drained, so we need to slow this bad boy down. Okay. How about now? You good? All right, you're good. You're a bit slower, but that's fine. I'll start ethylene over here looking. Oop, I almost died. Looks like we're keeping up now. Yep, we're just keeping on top. Okay, so we need to upgrade our power solution before we can push this to its limit. So it's still gonna be behind. Isn't that crazy, man? That is absolutely insane. Let's slow this down, because we can't even fully, util fully utilize it. All right, so we slowed this down. We upgraded all of these to their advanced, their advanced modes. We kept these fully upgraded because they don't use any chemicals. But this one we had to downgrade because it's using oxygen way too fast. And this thing needs so much power to deal with that. So, And it's a consistent draw just because of the way that we have this set up outputting hydrogen and oxygen. So hydrogen and chloride is good though. We're doing, we're doing just fine there. Damn, we're going to have so much ore after this. Let's check this box here. Yeah, this is looking good. It already transferred everything. We've been just cooking through all of that ore. Damn. Let's see what our storage looks like now. Just with everything on top. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> 27,000 nuggets. 13,000 iron nuggets. 13,000 lead nuggets. Platinum nuggets here. Copper. Our gold is going to go up as soon as we get that gold rolling into the machine. And even, you see, even with, even with having... 27,000, 14,000, 13,000, and all of these thousands of items in here. We're still only at 31,000 because we have these drawers here holding a ton of items and these drawers holding a ton of items. And we'll continue to add on to these as we get more and more, more and more ore and items in here. We'll just continue to expand these drawers out. It'll be a good idea. But I'm going to take a break for a little bit and I will be back and we'll continue with our journey. I actually have a few recommendations. Uh, they're nice features for when you start getting a ton of speed onto your character and a whole bunch of other screen affecting things. If you go to accessibility settings here, you can actually adjust the amount that your FOV has changed and other effects here on your screen due to game effects. So, you know, having, having the 30% speed um, adjusting my frame rate or my FOV, it doesn't do it much at all now, you see that? But if we go back to here and we allow 100%, look at that, you see how much more it's extended out? And it goes even further. And this is only with 30% speed. Typically you'll reach around like 100, 200% speed depending on the armor that you have. So I feel like that's a really good thing to check on. I don't recommend turning it off just so you can still see that it is an effect. But I always go with 10% because it's just way easier on the eyes than having your camera super zoomed out like you're playing Quake Pro or something. Yeah, let's go ahead and break these things down. And hope we get lucky. Ooh, we got four arcane sands. Okay, so we can toss that in there. Let me do this. 
Well, it looks like we're going to need more gem dust before we do anything. So we'll go ahead and take the lowest level gems if possible here. It doesn't look like we have many low level ones. We'll, we'll scrap the greens. We'll keep the blues and purples. Green, green, green. 19 gem dust, okay. Ooh, we can get loot pinata on this. It doesn't gain any damage though, it just gains reach. Maybe better to actually wait and just keep these arcane sands until we go find that bastion. I think that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna go look for that bastion um, so we can use the brush so we can get the smithing template to upgrade our gear. So let's go ahead and make the brush and we'll go looking for the bastion. I'm also just gonna toss a barrel right here so we can toss uh, these things from apotheosis in it just so we can keep it organized. Okay, so we have some wheat. Let's grab the rest of our wheat here so I can make some more food. We won't use it all um, because we want to keep some maybe for like emerald trading. Boom, boom, boom. Three stacks. Let's go ahead and drop them in this furnace here. Group. All right, that's enough and we'll just come back when we need it. And we have this pickaxe here. We have the soul yet? Oh, we have a soul. Okay, let's do something risky, I guess. Disenchantment book. Let's grab this and we will disenchant this pickaxe here. Are we gonna even have enough levels to put everything on though? We can worry about that when we get to it. So let's do this. All right, everything's off of it. Now we need our anvil. Well, we don't need unbreaking on it, so that's always good. Let's do efficiency. Fortune 4, and Boon of the Earth. No, we can't do Boon of the Earth on it. Huh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Well, we can do probably Boon of the Earth on this bad boy. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. And do Unbreaking on it. Does Mending, will Mending actually repair this? I wonder. So we have Efficiency 5, Fortune 4. We might have made a mistake. We might have just want to put it all on this one, honestly. Um, but that's okay. It's all about learning, right? I didn't know that you couldn't put Boon of the Earth on that, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. So we can use the hammer as our main pickaxe, and then we'll use this one as our uh, Boon of the Earth pickaxe. So that's fine. I think it's good to have two separate ones anyway. So that is okay with me. All right, we're going to need this nature's compass. And let's go. I think we have enough jetpack fuel. I think we'll be fine. I hope. Let's see, can we... Bastion... No, I guess we're just gonna have to look because we can't really search for it on here. So let's just look around for bastions. Which way have we already gone? We've gone that way. So let's go to the right, I guess, and look for a bastion. We have to find the really big bastions um, where there's like gold blocks in the middle and everything if we want to find the smithing template. And the reason we're looking for a smithing template is because we want to be able to upgrade our gear to netherite as minecraft 1.20 added so that you need smithing templates in order to upgrade your gear which is not too bad i mean it was really simple to go from diamond to netherite before so i think this is a good change maybe an unpopular opinion but i feel like adding a bit more levels to all the mods 9 gear progression is a good thing all the mods 9 in general i mean this this is a kitchen sink mod pack right it's already pretty easy to get to in-game gear. I mean, come on, we could have gotten there already, but we've been focused on different things. Ooh, a little nether ship. I have not seen this before. Ouch. What in the world? You guys are messing me up, man. I don't even know how much hearts I have left. Ooh, are these netherite boots? No way. Oh, they have Curse of Binding and Curse of Vanishing. <laughs> nice, though. Netherite boots. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. But that's a stone sword? It's a purple stone sword, so we'll sacrifice that. Okay, here's the ender. This item, as you see, it says you'll get mob heads faster. So it has more of a chance to give mob heads when you kill enemies. It's a green, some ancient debris, some more asses. Okay, that's some pretty decent stuff in there. Okay. Cool. Well... We got stuff and quite a few things. Maybe I'll take one of these and probably take both. We'll take one of these banners and we'll just toss it on our shield. Yeah. Yay. We got a banner on our shield. Very nice. 
Okay, well, this was interesting. I did not know that this monument was a thing. What's in here? Fire resistance potions. Very nice. Okay. Those are eight minutes long. Damn. Well, let's keep exploring. I wanted to come back down here to check if there's actual obsidian. Okay, there is. Okay, I'm going to nab this. Um, I think I'm going to need it. I think that mending might not work on silent gear. So right now it has 1845 durability, but that could have also been because it was broken. So I'm hoping that's what it was. And I hope that it will continue to improve when we get XP. So 1845. All right, let's get some XP then. 1845. Did we get XP there? I actually don't know. I think we did. We got XP there. Okay, so mending does not work on this. We could have probably put it on something else. Well, Zach the non-suspicious. Yeah, you were totally non-suspicious. Where did you spawn though? Where are you, Zach? I would like to fight you, Mr. Zach. Fight me! Stop trying to hit me and hit me! Where, oh where, is the Bastion? Where are you? I would like to know. Thank you. Is there a specific biome that they spawn in? If so, I don't know. Oh, here's one. But this isn't... I don't believe this is what we need, though. Yeah, dummies. Hey, hey, hey. Dummies. Yeah, go ahead. Keep falling, dummies. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't shoot me. It doesn't look like it will have what we need. It is a big boy, though. I don't know. I don't think it's the biggest boy which we need the biggest boy is jade not working jade wasn't working huh interesting i was confused i was wondering why things weren't popping up i like i like jade so what do we need here suspicious soul sand i think I th okay so none of this is suspicious if i can break it all i believe yep none of this is suspicious okay well I wonder if it's only in the big ones or if I can get it elsewhere. This place did not have what we needed, so we will continue to look. Man, I really need to start bringing waystones with me, dude. How far are we from our portal? You know what? I might just I might just go back cuz we're we're very 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 close. So I might just go back home and grab some waystones because I really need to start having teleports everywhere, especially when we're exploring like this because we could very quickly get lost. It says that they can also be found in chests within bastions, so if we can find those, that's cool. But I'm gonna go ahead and make some waystones because we really need this. Oh, that's right, we don't have emeralds. Huh, that's interesting. So we need to find a villager. I believe one of them was taking wheat. I believe one of them took wheat and I believe one took paper. Oh, but we need to reset the villagers' trades. Ah, here it is. Rough Emerald Shard. Partner with a villager to restock their trades. But how do I get that? Stone cutting. Okay, so I just need a stone cutter. Okay, well, let's make a stone cutter then. So then I just need one emerald, and then I can make that, and then I can reset their trades. Let's go to the jungle village. Oh, villagers! Do you have emeralds for me? You are unemployed. Where are the employed villagers? Do you have emeralds in here? No. You're not. You want zombie flesh? You can't cycle your trades, huh? What do you want? Sticks. Oh, man. Don't worry about that. I got you with the sticks. We're doing trees. Uh, I'm trying to get away from the village. I don't want to ruin its feng shui and whatnot. Take some twigs. Get some sticks. Get some more sticks. Come here, boy. Go ahead, man. Evolve. Do it. Level up. Oh, see, now you're being, now you're being stingy. Okay, so now I can go back and get my stone cutter here. And if we do this. Make some of those. I'm unsure exactly how these completely work. Uh, but let's see. You want wheat? I can trade you now? Oh, I'm out of wheat. No, one of you wants paper. Who? Who? Who's it? Who's it? What's it? Wants paper. Give me some more paper. Which one of you... Oh! Shit! Oops. I made a mistake. 
<laughs> oh no! The iron golem's gonna kill me. Is he still mad at me? Yeah, he is. He's pissed. Ouch. I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry, buddy. Had to be done. I made a mistake. Now everybody's afraid. Oh, you're mad at me now. Are you all mad at me? You sons of bitches. Hey, I didn't mean to do it. I'm gonna go to a different village then. Screw you guys. Huh? What are you? Ooh, paper. Okay. You have knowledge of the ages. Can drops are converted into experience. Ooh. Give me some emeralds, boy. Why are you so expensive now? Did your stuff get re-rolled? Oh, I see. It gets more expensive if you re-roll, I guess. I don't know. There's some mob loot here. Well, we got some stuff. Okay, back home. Let's check on this bad boy. 1,000. Thank you. Should probably extend that out. Get some more iron. We got some emeralds. That's good. These are really nice, actually. The rough emerald. I was looking to find that item or something to do something similar to that. So I'm glad I found those. Let us see. Yeah. We can look up durability. So the golden sword. This one. Blue, purple. Oops, not that one. Blue pants. Green. More gems. I guess I'll take these too. And we will just go drop those in there. Okay, well, we got some more arcane sands, so that's good. Toss that in there. We need more XP, though. Cast the knight. Where'd you spawn? Way over here. Goodbye. Would you give me which? A blue bow. Another infinity bow. I think that's literally the same. Or am I dumb? Am I dumb? Maybe she didn't drop a bow, because I think this is my bow. <laughs> Yeah, that's my bow. That's not even from her. Uh, I guess she didn't drop anything. Okay, that is fine, I suppose. But I did forget to salvage this purple sword here. Ooh, we got max. Very nice. Oh, we need more XP anyway. So, we got those emeralds so we could make some waystones. So let's do that. Oh, one, two, three, four. Let's make some waystones. Boom. There we go. Four waystones. Nice. Back into the mix, actually. Can't forget about our bread that was cooking. Bread. Let's get back to it, shall we? I would really like to get that smithing template. We could do some gear upgrades, baby. This is where we went through last time. Going over here, let's go this way. There's a purple boy over here. Oh shit. Die, Norman. You're too mean, bro. He's gonna drop his damn shovel, ain't he? That thing had a hell of knockback on it. Damn. We can get more arcane sands, though. What'd you drop? Ooh, your shield. Unusing armor and armor toughness. Oh, this gives flat armor. Okay. Well, not too worried about that right now. Let us move forward. this oh shit i can't see oh man i couldn't see a damn thing that was unfortunate that damn lava tried to eat my butt go on render away map render away give me a bastion give me a big ass bastion hello hello this is like blood is this literally blood? I think this is blood. What is this little place? Is this like a mini bastion? Interesting place y'all got here. You mind if I steal everything? I was going to anyway. Oh, bastion. This place is always so weird. All this blood. This blood biome. So odd. I mean, yeah, it's definitely creepy and it fits the vibe, but I don't like it. Bastion? Don't scream at me like that, dog. Okay. A bastion. Okay. Oh, infested. Oh, I think that just means... 
Yeah, that's what that means. Well, we can find them in chests, so let's hope we get lucky. We did not get lucky this time. We got a smithing template for something else. That's a trim, though. No. Oh, getting a call. Okay, sorry about that. I had a work meeting and a work call, so I needed to take care of that business. Anyway, Bastions, where are you? These ships are going to be neat, man. They're going to have quite a bit of stuff, huh? Maybe I'll find another right again. Fire resistance potions. Bro, I might as well just drink one of these. More boots. What are these? What is that? Tiny pile of uh, a topaz. Oh, it becomes aluminum. Okay, well. Yeah, this is, this is weird stuff, man. This is crazy. Ooh, we got some XP, so that's nice. I don't know what this stuff is exactly used for. I know it's Greg Tech, so I'll grab it, but I don't particularly see myself using it in any way. I'm assuming I can't break this. I cannot, okay. Well, here's some more vibranium. I guess I'll mark it. Mark that as vibranium. Do a little smidge of mining on the side. Just a smidge. Oh, Bastion! Where are you? What is this? Well, I'm just going to uh, place this on here. How much iron we get while we was gone? 200. God damn. That's a lot of iron. Okay, well, we got a bunch of crap. How are we doing on storage? We are chilling. That's what we're doing. We're chilling. What well, we need more fuel and honestly i'm thinking we upgrade our energy cube even further now might be a great time though for us to just oh i still haven't replaced the power cubes in our base okay well i'm gonna remove those and we're gonna replace those power power cables as well uh oh this thing's gonna run out of power uh mechanism we need these and these we need to make more of these. Yep, I figured. Well, good thing we took the cords out, right? So put these here. Rebalance the grid. Boom, boom. Oh, crap. Uh, we have redstone and steel out here, right? Very nice. Look at us. Oh, shoot. Well, do I have my linking tool? I don't. What the hell? It's right here. That's okay. I don't need to link it right now. Well, we'll do this. We need to make some pipes. Those. Do this. Okay. Now we can go down here and we can get our system reconnected. We will just connect it with this for now. Here we go. We have power again. Now where's my damn linking tool? Oh, it's because it was not ignoring NBT data. Damn it. There we go. Link the drawer. Okay, so we have our steel back. Sweet. Okay. This bad boy here. We need two more reinforced alloy and two energy tablets. Okay. Boom. And we can do this. Break that and do this and change the side config to take input, output, output, output. So I'll we'll put everywhere except for the back. All right, sweet. And now what's... The max output of this Sheesh. max output 25.6 so it almost almost quintupled the amount of energy we can output from this but we can't even keep up with it that's so much 25k yeah no that's way over our max but that is okay but what i was talking about was a wireless player charger uh which we need to mess with the power mod for, and we need to make, we need to make a player transmitter. We're going to need this binding card and this binding card dimensional. We need the aerial pearl. We need this, which we need dialectic dust for, okay. We need the aerial pearl. We need to use this on a husk. All right. Oh wow, our jetpack's full, that's crazy. 
So what we're doing right now is we're messing with the power mod and we're looking, oh, here's a husk. We're looking to get dimensional charging so we can have power going directly to us, meaning our jetpack can be recharged by our power wirelessly, which is really cool. Really freaking cool. We're going to need a binding card, which is going to need a blank card, which is going to need these. So we're going to make a blank card and then we will make a binding card. And we need to bind it on ourselves. Okay, it's bound to us. Now to get a dimensional card, you need to right click on an Enderman or an Endermite. So we're going to go look for an Enderman to see if we can get the dimensional part done. But for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to make the player transmitter here. So we need to make some of these capacitors here. We need to make some tiny capacitors a dialectic casing which needs these which we are out of those but that's okay we can turn these into the side ones make that and then we can make the player transmitter starter let's see if we can upgrade this we can if we do this but we are going to need more of this dialectic paste which needs more blaze rods or blaze powder rather and boom now for the next one, we're going to need to upgrade and we're going to need to mess with power even more. So we're just going to stop at this stage. I mean, this is already going to output 4K um, energy per tick to us. So that is perfectly fine with our needs right now. We'll just drop it onto that. We can place that in there. And we need to tell this bad boy to output to the top. Turn on auto eject. Ah, see, energy. Go to the energy tab, turn on auto eject. So now this thing's receiving power. If you watch our jetpack, it is slowly climbing. So let's use some more fuel. Okay. Now we're already full again. See that? Look at that. We're using power. Turn it off. Boom. Full. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? That is insane, right? <laughs> That's pretty freaking cool. So while we're flying, we will just be getting this uh, energy transfer to us. What I really want to do is find an interman to put this on because then it works between dimensions, which is really, really awesome. What is this? What are you? Are you like a scorched mines, huh? What does this entail? What is this place? Oh shit, I think I've seen this place. Um Enderman. Got him. All right, we got the dimensional shard. Oh my god. Okay, let's just skedaddle. I don't want to deal with this place right now. We will mark it though, and we'll put a we'll put a waystone here. It's called the Scorched Mines. Well, we found a place to explore, so that's cool. Um, but we got our dimensional binding card, so now we chuck this in here, and we should always be refilling on jetpack fuel. So the player transmitter has the dimensional binding card in it. It can it can support 4K FE per tick. It stores up to 4 million. Look at this bad boy, captive dreams. It's a pretty nice sword you got there, bud. Can I save that? Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying, man. How many emeralds do we have? We have 12. Um, Can we do anything with this? Can we send it through our system? We can send it through the enrichment chamber, but that's it. Well, let's grab this. How much sugar cane do we have? How much paper do we have? And sticks. We have a ton of logs. That we could use for sticks so if we just do that see how much we can get here then if we do this and we tell our refill to give us sticks then we grab the sticks from here store these in here now we should be able to trade with that villager that was trading emeralds for sticks huh you don't even want to Trade sticks? Okay, here we go. All right, so we have sticks. Let's just trade with you. Level up, go ahead. Boom. God damn, son. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm all out of sticks. Where's the trader? Where are you? Oh, here you are. Come here, come here, come here. Give me that beautiful sword. I need the diamond sword from in here. Diamond sword. I don't have one. Well, we're going to make one. I haven't even made one yet. Where are you at? Don't tell me. I thought you despawned. Where are you? Here you are. Oh, give me that. Give me that beautiful sword. Thank you. 
Good, sir. Now we can turn this into a silent gear sword. Doing this, right? Will it keep all of its uh, stuff? Yeah. Now we can turn it into a silent gear, and then we can change the blade. I wonder if that's a good idea or not. We might just not do that for now, and we'll see um, what we decide. But it's better than our sword right now. Ooh, we might be able to do this, huh? Four damage, increased reach, attack speed, and damage. Eight protection pierce. Okay, not bad. Ooh, but look at that one. That one has loot pinatas. I don't really need loot pinatas, do I? This one's also pretty damn good. We're level 51. What we could do is grab these greens here and just re-roll it. So roll it through so the purples get transferred. Now, these typically do mean that you get better stuff. You have higher chances of rolling things on these lower two here. But they're not necessarily required. You might get something that's way better up here as well. Like, you see this has three sockets and two extra additives under there. Crit damage and lifesteal. Um, and it also has two extra things on top with the damage to nearby enemies and the durability. This one only has one socket, but it has extra it has extra add-ons as well that this one doesn't, that the top one doesn't have. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's better. I think I might take that, actually. It has less damage to nearby enemies, but that's fine. This is okay, I think. I'm happy with this. So let's, let's toss this in here. We will replace these cables with this sword. We have a nice, decent sword now. So that is that is good. We have a decent some decent pickaxes. The only thing we're lacking right now is we're lacking armor. But that is okay. That is quite all right. Let's just do this. Well, we have a dope ass sword. It's not silent gear, but that's fine. It has mending on it. It has some sockets as well. We might we might want to see if we have any good socket gems to put on this bad boy. But if we ever decide to turn this into silent gear, then it's not going to be good. Can we upgrade this to all the Madium? We can. Okay, okay. So we can just like keep this until it gets upgraded to all the modium. So we don't even need to necessarily turn this into silent gear. So we can socket this bad boy. This one is 40% crit chance. Okay, that sounds really good. Is this unique? It is unique. So we can only have one. Uh, so there's different types of gems here. There are unique gems and then there's regular gems here. Uniques you can only put on an item once. Uh, but something that's not unique, you can put multiple on the same item. This gives us life steal on our light weapon, which we might want. Drop it in here. Drop this in here. Then it'll get 40% crit chance. Then if we drop this in here again and we put that on there, it'll gain 65% life steal. There we go. Damn, son. That's nuts. Well, we took that little detour to make sure that we have jetpack power everywhere. We made, we got that awesome sword from that trader. So let's go and look for bastions again. And you know, this might be the time for us to use our slash RTP that we haven't used the entire playthrough. So let's do that. Ow, ow, ow. Where are we? Oh my gosh. RTP is dangerous, man. Shit. I thought we were about to die. Good Lord. Holy cow, that was scary as shit. Oh, I just remembered that we put a waystone somewhere. How close are we actually to where we put that waystone? Oh, we're close to the Soul Forge. Whoa, did you guys see that on the map? What is that? That looks sick. I'm gonna have to go check that out. I'm just gonna name this <laughs> cool structure. There was a boss. Where did he go? There was a purple boss somewhere. It's a blaze. Joke's on you. I got lifesteal, boy. Goodbye, Jank. They're really cool. I'm the cool one. Purple gold pants. Gold pants aren't really great because they don't have mending on them. Oh, there's another fortress right here. Oh, yeah, this is where, like, I was. I think I looted. The oh, I didn't loot that whole place, actually. Another purple boss, huh? Don't fall in the lava, idiot. I'm afraid to take any damage from you with all that diamond gear on. What'd you drop? A purple pickaxe with auto smelt on it. Okay, well, we can break these two down. I think that's what I'm going to do. There's diamond effectiveness on all blocks, though. That's nice. I wonder if it smelts everything it mines. Will it smelt sand? And look at that thing. Look at this thing. Holy moly. A burning arena. Is there a boss here? Yo, this place looks sick. Oh man, dude, look at this place. 
Yo, this place looks dope. Hell yeah, dude. That's sick. Now, I don't know what this is. Oh, not that. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh, I thought I got rid of my... Thought I got rid of my sword, dude. Oh, man, I was about to shit. I think there's something I have to put in there, then? But this is sick, man. Yo, I'm, I'm tagging this. The Burning Arena. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hell yeah, dude. We're gonna have to come back here, bro. This place looks dope. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna snag this raw gold, though. That's 180 raw gold, baby. I'll take that. Beautiful. Well, shit, this place looks dope. Where's that purple boss at? Man, we're just gonna slay all these purple boys. Oh, shit. You dumbass. Did you despawn as well? You did not. You just fell down here. We're being dumb. You silly ass. God damn it. Why are mobs stupid? Oh, look, another ship, too. I am happy with this sword, man. It's got looting four, mending, sharpness five, and breaking five, capturing five. Sweet. More fire resist potions? Hell yeah. More boots over here? Yep, same damn boots. More loot, though. Is this a bastion? Ooh, bastion. Hello, nerds. Thank you, Bastion. Gold, soul speed. Ooh, spooky music. What do you have? Nothing. More create stuff. Give me all of your create stuff. Give me that. Thank you, create. It is all mine. We are on a journey together, you and I. Oh god. I messed up. I accidentally turned off hover. <laughs> I messed up my key bindings there. Oops. Luckily, we have quite a few hearts. Oh, my helmet's about to break. Let's just uh, drink that. I don't want my helmet to break. There's a bastion here, right? Is this a bastion? This is the big boy? Oh! <gasps> This is the big boy, I think. I think this is the really big boy. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Doesn't look like there's any uh, soul sand in it, though. Please be in here. Smithing template. Yes! It is in the chest. We found it, dude. Let's go. Let's go daddle. We stole all their gold and we stole their smithing template. Let's go. Get me out of here. I'm going to break through your roof. Yeah. All right. I'm going to mark this as big old bastion. Sweet. Okay. Let's go. Oh, we need to move this up. I'd like this to be on the first page. Boom. 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 Yeah, dude. We got it. We got it. Oh, yes. We finally got it, man. Oh, my goodness. That was a journey. Ooh. I've been exploring the nether for so long. I'm so happy to have this now. Let's turn it into more. Boom. Okay, we have six. How many more diamonds do we have? 62. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. We can rest easy now. It's time to finally upgrade things to netherite. We can upgrade the sword. Boom, boom, boom. Does 10 damage. Now it does 11.5. Keeps all of the same stats. It's only one extra damage, but I don't care. Ah, uh, we need to make that uh, silent gear to do. Which is so weird. I wonder if this is going to work. Just going to make it and hope that it works. Oh, <gasps> it does. It does work. Yes! It works! Oh, yes! Look at that. Look at that man right there. Look at that man right there. Hell yeah, dude. Netherite pickaxe achieved. Beautiful. Now, we can do this. Boom! 
Netherite backpack. Look at that. It's only another row, but come on, man. You get two more slots here. It's so good. So beautiful. So gorgeous. Now, let's just boop all of that in there. And we still have more. That was a lot of raw gold uh, blocks. Jesus. Look at this. Put that in there. Look at all that beautiful raw gold that's going to get transferred over. So good. So amazing. This is awesome. I'm so happy. We did we did quite a bit. Oh, that was awesome. That was really cool to find. Look at this. We got some netherite gear. And we got a giant sword from... I believe that is from uh, Twilight Forest. So we have a big ass sword now. <laughs> yeah, ungod. You don't want to f with this. I think I'm compensating for something. I'm going to go ahead and cut things here. I think this is a really good ending point for us. We just got the smithing template. We upgraded our backpack finally. And we also have a netherite sword and a netherite silent gear pickaxe. And the next thing that we're going to go look for is some aldamadium. We want to get to the mining dimension. We want to use that nether silent gear pickaxe that has boon of the earth on it. We're going to get so much ore from that thing. It's going to be amazing. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a few things. We went over a couple mods in here that I actually have never used before. So that was an awesome new experience for me. But I look forward to seeing you next time. And hopefully we'll have some aldamadium. I hope you all take care and I'll see you in the next one.